Welcome back to another Phyrexia draft. Um, I have been doing one draft since the last video, which was a blue-black poison proliferate, and it seems pretty broken. Honestly, it, it it seems to be the best deck. Like it got everything, got removal, got card draw. It got early game. It wins pretty fast, and if it doesn't win fast, it wins late. Like. There's nothing more to say. I went 6-3 with it because I got pretty unlucky in my last fight. And we opened a Raskus Betrayal Sting. Draw a card, lose life, proliferate. Target creature becomes target becomes a treasure. If target player has n fewer than 9 poison, kind of gets the number. E okay. We're not gonna take the Raska here, definitely. There's a Drown and Acre here, which is also good for that sort of thing, and pre locked of uh, Virus. It's also pretty good for that deck, but definitely taking the Raska here to try her out. She seems pretty strong. Also 5 to 6 mana. But yeah, let's take the Raska and see what we get past. We get past the the gulping scrap trap that proliferates tri- That proliferates- Why can I say that today? Proliferates- twice once it comes into the battlefield and one once it dies also a pretty strong card for the deck and it's a good blocker too because it's a four mana five five most four fours in this format cost six mana so it's above its curve or the other curves so it comes down a turn earlier than the other four fours so that one seems pretty strong. Let's see what we get here. Froming bird is pretty good. Uh, anything else? Probably not. We're just gonna take froming bird to proliferate some more. That emer emer I also played against this card last time. That emergency. And I noticed you can put creatures from the opponent's graveyards into the battlefield under your control. Which makes it a bit better than what I initially thought about that card. I thought it was only your graveyard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. There's also the uh, the boar here. If you want to go green black, but I don't really think green black is that good necessarily. Uh, I prefer blue black for the control and uh, poison team. Got a land handed to us and a lot of blue black cards I think we want the uh, what do we want here we have a lot of proliferate we don't have any poison yet but this card is pretty hard to beat and you want just removal you want all sorts of removal for that deck so I'm gonna take the mesmerizing dose and get past another mesmerizing dose but we got a Raskus fall which is each player or each opponent sacrifice a creature or Planeswalker and gets a poison counter for 3 mana instant, that's pretty good. Got a counter spell here, 2 mana counter spell that makes them pay 2, or if you have 3 poison counters on them, they cannot uh, pay the mana cost, just get counter spelled. So that is also pretty big for the poison deck. Yeah, Raska is definitely... She seems pretty good. Zero mana, draw a card, proliferate. If play her turn 5, that's pretty big. Wait, what? How did... Oh, she proliferates that stuff. She gets up. Okay, I was like a bit confused there. Got the Head Cleaver. You got Toxin 2. It got Menace. It does everything you want for this deck. Like, hard to block. Big Toxic. Decent creature for blocking too. If it comes down to a stalemate. Definitely. One of the good Toxin cards. We would like some more early game though. We're quite heavy on our mana cost so far. Want a lot more twos. And if we can get some ones. It would be very nice. Uh, other five drops we want is the draw free proliferate in blue and in four drops I can't remember really what this there other than the head cleave 
We would also like the black one where we would lose two life, draw two cards, and they get a poison counter on. That one is pretty big too for the poison deck. And we want a bunch of rats, the two mana 2-2, two, two, what's it called? Blight something rat? That is a two mana 2-2 two, two with toxin, and then when it dies it proliferates. Let's see here. Our player next to us has a bunch of cards. Don't really want to play any of these, but if we are going to play one, I'm gonna play Feed the Infection. Ah, uh, here we're just gonna cut off the blue signal. Don't really want to play the Glistener's here. Like, it's fine in a pinch, but I guess we just red raft here. It's fine for me. I think the person next to me is also playing blue black. I have have a feeling. So, in the next pack, we're gonna see way more. Gonna cut off the black signal. Don't wanna play that card either. This card is fine with the hip cleaver. But otherwise, it's pretty bad. It depends on how many creatures I have. Uh, if I play it or not. And we got Black Sun Twilight, which we are going to take. Does it? So this card is minus X minus X, and if it's five or more, you get to recur a creature. Oh, it's from your graveyard. Actually, do we want it? Or do we pass it? We can take a affliction here instead. Like we don't have that many creatures we want to recur anyway. If it's a creature or planeswalker, I probably would have taken it. But I don't think creature recursion is that important. And this card pretty much does the same thing without the drawback of being uh, having to pay more mana. So we're gonna take the affliction. And we got the prologue here, which we are going to... No, we're actually going to take the Pestilence Siphoner instead. It's a better card. I feel like you want some early game creatures that has like Evasion and Toxin. Here we can either take... I think we're going to take the Sting Hive Master over the second counter. Like, these counter spells usually go around of what I've seen. So we don't need to take them on high value. You probably want to have one or two in the deck at most. The Doom Mover is pretty good. It's a 2 mana, 2-1 two with Toxin. That goes into almost every deck except the Oil deck. And it gets you some land fixing um, if you're unlucky with your draws. Uh, and the Light Rat, there's also a Experimental Augury, which we would like to see. But we haven't picked up any rats yet, and the rat is so important for the deck. So we're gonna take the Blight Belly Rat here. Probably not gonna see the Experimental Augury, but we can always hope. Uh, yep. Wow, there's a lot of these vet emergencies going around. So here we can either take the... I think we're gonna take the creature again, honestly. Like, we can be more creature heavy. Uh, blue, black. Uh, here, there's no cards we want. I guess we just take this one to cut off the black signal. We got a blight rat. Nice. I'd rather have Blight Rats than the Head Cleaver since these ones come out earlier and proliferates. And the Head Cleavers usually wheel anyway. Compared to the Rats. The Ica is pretty decent blogger and can become a threat later on. So we really want to see the 3 mana draw to... Uh, Two life draw to every opponent gets a toxin counter or poison counter. We need to see those. 
and the rask has falls and some more uh, afflictions would be nice just gonna take all the artifacts here get one offer i guess oh, i already had an offer but cutting off the black signal again Hopefully this guy feels like he... Oh, then again, we sent him a black sun, so we're probably going to pick that one up. Uh, let's see what we get for... Oh my god! The Fuel Wanderer. That's like the best planeswalker there is in this set. Oh, six mana, five. No more than one creature can attack her. Each combat exile. So, so she flickers, she makes two twos with double strikes, and then she board wipes. Uh, that, that's a card, right there. Here we're gonna take the prologue. Why didn't we open her? Like, if we open her, I would rather have her than Raska, definitely. What is this one? Three mana, three three menace. At the beginning of each player's upkeep deals two damage to that player on this deck. Control two or more. Oh, weird. Okay, so it's free mana, free free with menace. Gotcha. Doesn't do anything else. Oh, here we got the uh, the call of was talking about the uh, free mana, draw two, lose two. Every opponent gets that poison count on. Another hit cleave. I think we're gonna take that so we can play one of our immo of our immortality. And we get a draws. Another hit leaf, not my favorite. Wow, green white. Oh, red white. The person that plays red white having a field trip. Jesus Christ. Uh, here we're just gonna take out the black. So we're definitely more heavy black than blue. Would like the five mana draw five proliferate in blue. That one would be very nice. I'd also like to see some more prologue. I should definitely have been black red for this build, it feels like. But then again, black red doesn't really like it feels so awkward to play black red because black wants to do poison things and red wants to do oil things. But let's see what we get here. I would also love some more free drops, I feel like. Here we got our counter spell, that's fine. Let's see if we can find something else for the feet in the station. Oh, now we're getting packs back. Yeah. Black red is so open. Just gonna have a rare draft here. <laughs> More black red. Uh, sure, we're gonna take the uncommon. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of creatures, so let's put this one in the deck. What can we take out? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe, maybe the all for the immortality. How many creatures do we have? With like twelve. Ah, uh, probably. So like this. Yep, seems pretty good. Hopefully, Raska can carry our game. That uh, that would be nice. Uh, some lands, we need some islands. We need eight of these, and then we need some swarm. Nine of those. Then we need to change the sleeve and go with the black lotus this time around. And let's see how the deck does. It feels weaker than the other deck I had. Uh, the other blue-black poison proliferate deck I had. 
Uh, it definitely has way less removal compared to it and way more creature heavy. And this is actually... Oh, it's so annoying. Guess we keep... Oh, we're not starting either. That's kind of awkward. That's pretty big. We just have to do this now. Submit. That one grows. Like, big time. Uh, decline. Have plenty of land. Which is kind of annoying to say to your opponent. I don't need any more land. You only have two out. So he knows that you have some land on hands. Sure. Still going to attack into that. Nice, we got poison going. Got the frumming bird. Okay, taking six, I feel like, maybe. Then again, we don't have that much removal compared to my old draft, so it's like. I have to sacrifice some creatures to stabilize at some point. Okay. Yeah, guess I'm taking eight. Like the furnace rider seems like one of the best red commons for sure. Like it's always so annoying to go up against five mana four five with haste. Here we're just gonna play a bunch of creatures and then from in that. Actually we can probably just get two tucks again. So we get the, the three. Then we can block with Billy Red and the Iker. So, would really love to draw some of our removal now. And not all counter spells. Let's see, what do Mr. Opponent do? So we're definitely blogging with the rat. No matter what, it feels like. And the Iker. If he attacks with one, I'm probably just gonna block with the Iker. Okay, so now it's gonna make us not be able to block, right? That's the thing with this one. Yeah. Okay, so we're blocking with the Iker. <laughs> and we lost this game. Yep, we lost this game. Well, that was uh, pretty quick. Let's see if we can uh, can get some less. Act that that's one of the things I've noticed with this uh, this set. Like it goes so fast. Like, either you win fast or you lose fast. And the stalemates, the poison tend to win. Like, uh, the proliferate poison. What is this hand? I guess we keep it. It has a curve. Doesn't have removal, but it has a curve. Uh, is this the white one? 2 plus 2 and flying. Okay. What is that? Whenever one or more creatures you control die, each opponent lose type you gain two. Okay. Get the 
place them on. So it's safe until every time a creature dies once. Oh shit, I should have played this first. That's my mistake. I should have played the one free first. You gotta hit cleave himself. You get to give it two plus two. Oh god, that's annoying one. Then attack with the hit cleave. Then eat his 2 2. If he blocks. Because the mites cannot block. And we're going to decline. We want some action rather than lands. The reason we're blocking with the Iker over the Hive Master is because the Hive Master's token that he leaves behind cannot block. So if he wants to pump to kill my Iker, it's fine. He didn't. He's gonna lose two and he's gonna gain two, but we're not going to win on the. Uh, what's it called? Okay, so now he keeps up the bomb, so we're not going to attack this turn. It's gonna pass along. Okay. Stitching the. Oh, yes, sorcery speed. I should actually have attacked. Keep forgetting that it's sorcery speed. Got some sort of removal here. Probably gonna have remove a head cleave. Oh, no? Okay. Don't want me to have the value of the 1 1. Oh, he's drawing cards. That's good. That's good. That's very nice. Let's see what he follows it up with. One one attacking again. Like I'm a okay him defending that card. Okay. Uh. So now it's gonna get returned. Let's see if we can. Or something, yeah. Good, that's nice. Now I can play off Rumming Bird. I could attack, but I don't feel like it's a good attack. Like, he has to do something proactive here, and I do not. Nice! Don't know why I can't see it though. He probably drew another land or something like that. So, 1-1 one, one so far. Hopefully we can get a bit more than just one win. I haven't seen Rask either yet. Then again, I didn't have mana for her that game, if I've drawn her. Uh, I guess this is a fine hand. We got removal oh, and oh god. Okay, we just have to remove that card. 
ASAP. That's a that's a big one. It's like the mother of runes that cannot protect itself, but it gives poison. Actually, let's play this one first. This blue white. I'm fine, not killing it ASAP. Blue white is the artifact theme, as far as I recall. And so far, he doesn't know I'm blue too. Yeah, he's going artifact. So it becomes a 4 4. Gonna take some damage here, but can remove it easily. It's mana cost, right? Yeah, if it's mana. Get our poison counter on. This artifact, yeah, it is. No, it's an artificial. Okay, that card is annoying. So he's full in artifact. Uh, we actually have to defend here. Yeah, I feel like. What? Okay. He, he got a nice deck, for sure. No blocks. So we have to play the Dune Mover here. Take action, get an island. Yeah, we're definitely behind here, for sure. Uh, probably lost this one. We are so far behind. And again, because we didn't start, we... yeah, it's over. It's over, it's over, it's over. I already lost this one. Okay, so one, two. This deck definitely needs its removal, and it didn't get the removal. That's uh, that's why we are losing so heavily early game. The left and a uh, minus one, minus one early on, instead of the counter spells. The counter spells can be good, but it feels like they rarely are that important. Do I get to start? That's the question. Didn't even look. Why is the bear all the way over there? I do get to start. Championship 2019. Gonna play the Doom Mover here. Take action. Let's get a swamp. Land out an attack, and if he does anything, we counter it. But he can sack to draw a card. That's fine. Gonna play off Frumming Bird. That's fine. That's not fine. That's uh, that's that annoying one. Oh, that's good. Move around with all accounts, but doesn't really matter. Got the free poison on him now. So now the counter can counter anything. Got a 1-1. One, one. Um, we do not go greedy here. We just play this out and pass along. countering that one. No oil for you, my friend. Um, 
Let's see what we draw. Uh, land. Lovely. Okay, attack first. Does he want to sack his spill bomb? Nope. Then we attack. And we played the Hive Master. If he spends his next turn just bouncing the Hive Master, we're fine with that. Oh, he's also black. Okay. Got nothing to proliferate. Got nothing to boost. It's just a 3 mana 2-2. Two -two. Like as long as we're trading like this, I'm fine. Like at some point, we're going through. And we still have the Rask in the deck too. We should probably play all our lands since we have some card draw. It's just not bounce the token, it's fine. Got another hive master. Six mana four four. But I got a cleaver. See what he does here. Nothing interesting. Guess we draw first in case we draw a calendar. That's fine. to do anything here. Actually we should play our land as we'll talk about because we have card draw. Immobilizer. That's also pretty good. So we go to attack step. Attacks. How much land do we have drawn? We have drawn eight, eight lands. So there's nine left in the deck. So 50 50 on lands. That's not a land. Now we can proliferate the, the one free so we can start going in. So another clock other than the flyer. Oh, the Juggernaut! Wait, what? Aren't they supposed to attack now? Wait, oh, it's hit my... It's fine. Then we... win? Question mark. He 
he has to attack. So, unless he has a bounce. Oh, he has the tap thing. Does he have lethal? He does. I'm stupid. I threw the game. 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 Uh. <laughs> that was definitely my fault. And that deck should have deserved a win and at least having to be play Raska. But that's how it goes. Sometimes you don't think about the obvious things. I forgot his tabber. Definitely. Well. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video.